All right, so we're at the shop. We're about to start a really dirty job. Um, it's not super cold outside, but we've got the heater blown over there. We've got a carbon monoxide alarm next to it. So if it gets too crazy in here, uh, we can open the door, do whatever we need to do. Um, now this car, I've removed the tubular uh, K member from this so I can get all of the rest just taken care of because I want to just paint the entire bottom of the thing. Um, so I'm starting with the trans tunnel inside of the wheel wells here. Um, and I, I may even pull the fenders off. I'm not sure how much effort that takes, but they do have some rust at the bottom. Um, I may just do what I can with them on. I'm not sure. Um, they do have some, like this one has rust on the outside, a couple little, little spots that, uh, should be taken care of, but no big deal. Now inside of here was painted before I got the car. Um, so I thought it was in a lot better shape than it was, but, uh, as you can see right here, like that hasn't even, like it's never been touched. Um, they just sprayed out there. Um, uh, probably not going to do anything that we don't need to like this right here. Maybe I'll get like my, a mirror up there or something. See how it goes. This is cut. So we're going to file that paint it. Um, might be worth welding something in there. I'm not sure it really matters for chassis rigidity, but, uh, yeah, just because the engine sits so far back and the steering is all connected right here. So I don't think that that's really going to matter. It just kind of holds the front bumper and fascia on, but yeah, it was painted over like a lot of this stuff, which has rust underneath of it. So we're going to, we're going to cut down everything that we can, um, repaint it. Um, we're painting it silver because I got this paint for the BMW and it was super expensive. So that's what we're going to use. Um, I wasn't initially going to take the K member out. I was just going to, you know, do this part, um, with the K member in, but having some rust on, let's see, where is it? Yeah. That mount right there. Um, I was, I was like, why even, why not just, uh, just do it right, you know? So we'll do that, get it all painted, check back in a little bit. I, uh, I've got my PPE, glasses, mask. I keep breathing up into my glasses with the mask on, but then I've got this thick um, flannel on just to protect my arms a little bit. We're just using uh, a rotary, um, just a grinder with a wire wheel on it. Holy cow. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so we're just using the rotary uh, grinder with a wire wheel on it. Uh, we're going to cut down everything that we can. Ideally, I would love to use a sandblaster, but I don't have the air to support that. Um, and it gets really messy. This will be messy too, but uh, much less media that's just getting onto the floor. Holy cow. Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, get to this. I'll show you this side too, just so we can have kind of a before and after. This car is actually pretty clean being that it's, oh man, 40 years old. Um, yeah, little stuff like that. I wish I had a sandblaster for, but, oh, you know, I can just pull this out. Why? I don't even know why that's still in there. What the heck? There we go. Holy cow. Let's see. All right, there we go. All right, well, all right, well. Cool. Um, I'm going to put my mask on. Who knows if that has asbestos in it? Um, yeah, that makes it easier to get to that for sure. Um, yeah, but we're going to go ahead and uh, get to this. And yeah, actually, I want to see if it has this on the other side too. Oh, you know what it does. Look at that. We're making some... <clears throat> some progress here there we go yeah cool well that's not bad in there at all um 
Yeah, I might cover that up because that goes just straight. That's the door right there. So, <laughs> yeah, that might be worth um, leaving, putting back in. But uh, they don't weigh much. This is like half a pound. So, but yeah, maybe I'll make like a plastic sheet or something to go there just to, because that's pretty gross. Um, probably absorbent. <laughs> but I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. We'll figure it out but for right now we're just going to start cleaning up any rust stuff that we have in here and i'll get get back to you guys all right so we're down here looking at the progress got all of the really crazy spot rust out um that little guy maybe i'll do something about it just because i noticed it but stuff like that i'm not crazy worried about it's more like the really crazy like big area surface rust that I'm worried about and I want to do something with. So um, all of this stuff is um, pretty well down to flat. Uh, this wheel was a twisted um, twisted wire wheel and it is this wheel is pretty done. Um, it vibrates like crazy too. So I'm gonna. I'm going to go ahead and probably replace it, keep going. Um, we were able to get down there pretty good, pretty well done. Um, I don't know how I'm going to get that. That might have to be done by hand, which sucks. But uh, yeah, that's a really common place. The door tower is really common for fox bodies to actually. Oh, I did not notice all that until just now. So time to, eh, yeah, I'm going to touch that up with grinder. Um, yeah, so we'll, uh, huh. um, I noticed this black paint up here was really soft once I hit it with the, uh, wheel. So, <laughs> um, yeah, we're probably going to cut a lot of that off and then, and then redo it. I'll probably cut this, this rail and then the other one, just so it's silver inside where the engine sits. I, I want to paint the engine pink just for baller status, but uh, I don't know. I'd like to pop the hood and have it be a lot of clean, nice colors and stuff like that. We also got this guy right here. Still needs a little bit more. I haven't laid down and worked on it because I don't want to, but I'm going to have to. Um, one thing that was awesome, though, is the previous owner here, there's an adapter for... Um, I can't remember, but the... Uh, this will mesh up with the SN95 steering rack that I have, um, which is awesome because the adapter to run an SN95 steering rack is like two or $300. So um, yeah, it's cool that, that that's just kind of welded on there. Um, maybe it's a little, you know, deep south, but it'll do the job and it saves me $300. So um, yeah. Anyways, we're going to keep on trucking away. I want to get the wheel wells both ground down and then possibly painted. Uh, I'm not super positive on that, but it'd be nice to have them um, just painted and done. Then I can do floor, rear axle area, and just kind of step and go as I, as I you know, little steps at a time or whatever. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and... <clears throat> finish up this side we'll get moved on over to the other side all right I knew this was gonna be a dirty job <laughs> all right so um, I have the I'm gonna turn this there we go actually there we go um, so I'm not taking my mask off because of the um, just rust dust paint in the air um, but we did get this side pretty good and and whatever um this is kind of my initial inspection of it <clears throat> so i do have my headlamp on as you can see it it's pretty good it's pretty bright um the phone has its so there's headlamp only anyways um so the new wire wheel man it really just cuts away at this um little rust dust and stuff like that i'm not too concerned with i'm going to clean this off before i paint it por 15 or 
uh, purple power, and then we're gonna go over this with chassis saver. But um, you can see it's pretty, this side was a lot better in the shock tower, but down here was a lot worse, this rail. Um, so um, it is dirty inside of there, rusty. Uh, still need to take care of some of this. This underside was pretty trashed. Um, yeah, it's kind of a, a lot. This whole area is really nice. I'm honestly not even gonna touch this panel. Um, it's just super nice. Um, you can see there is a little bit down here, kind of in the same place we had over there. So I'll need to unbolt the fender, space it out, do a little bit of that. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's looking good. And then we should be good to go ahead and start painting over here in just a little bit. Um, this brake line is also pretty gross inside. So probably gonna be best off just replacing that. Um, I've been avoiding learning to make brake lines, but it's not too difficult, I'm sure. I just, no sense in learning something I'm gonna use one or two times ever if I can avoid it. So um, yeah, we'll, uh, we're gonna start uh, chopping down just a little bit more. Um, pop the bottom of this fender off. What's nice is that it's solid down here. There's a drilled out hole on this side, which is not on the other side um, for some reason. So maybe this fender is from a different car or something. I don't know. Oh, you know what? Over there, it's got a little chunk of metal that's like bolted into that. So that's good. Anyways, we can, we can fill that. I'm not going to make this like a GT replica or anything. I like the way that it looks because it doesn't necessarily super look like a Mustang. So, <clears throat> so yeah, um, I think I'm not sure if I really want to like things like this. That's pretty, I don't know. I mean, that's pretty chunk of rust right there, but I don't know. I don't think I'll, uh, <laughs> I kind of like the very worn down aspect of it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I like it. I like it pretty good the way it is. Maybe, maybe we'll do some body work on it, but it'd be kind of silly to do too much body work. I just want it straight. And so it's not going to rust out. Um, it'd be silly to fix. There's a dent on the back panel over there. The trunk lid needs to be replaced. Um, so it's like, I don't know why even do all that because it's you know it's just gonna get slid and I'll probably dent them up anyways so so yeah but we uh I need to get on my back and finish the undersides of all these things and then I should be good to move on to the trans tunnel all right so you can see how like gross it is with like I don't know if you can see the beam of my light or not, but um, used to look like this. I don't know. Somebody like clearance this or something. Um, I think they were going to put a big block in here. So maybe that was for a C6 or a TH400. But uh, <laughs> anyways, um, all of the nice black paint that's in here is just kind of like flaking off and it's really fucking annoying um so we're just grinding this down so it'll all be smooth and clean and be able to take some chassis saver um under here was really really bad but came off really easy under here is not too bad um i think i'm just going to focus on these trans mounts and forward um yeah <clears throat> Think that's what I'm gonna kind of work on here um, there's a lot of floor area that needs to be done but that's that's another day because there's a lot of that um, we've been here for a few hours and my back is starting to annoy me um, one thing I did notice and I'm gonna get up and turn around to show you guys this um, is that right here there are these mounts that mount the front end to the core support, right? 
the core support has this little fiberglass piece right here, which I think would be a perfect place to cut out and put an intercooler for Turbski. Cause that's like, that's like solid plastic. So I could plastic weld down and over. And there's a lot of room on both sides for it to just kind of, you know, go around and up and through no big deal and be really clean and also really discreet um because <clears throat> from the outside of these you can't see in unless you're looking like directly at it so <clears throat> could be could be kind of nice um to have an intercooler and and put it there and have a turbo like that one over there except for maybe a little bit bigger that one's kind of small 3071 or 3076 i think but, yeah, I mean, it'd be literally like a perfect place to <laughs> um, put an intercooler. Um, there's not necessarily a huge amount of airflow. There's a huge blocker right here. There's airflow there and airflow there. Um, a fan would fix having congestion here, and this car will never have AC, unfortunately. Um, but, yeah, I mean, that's kind of cool because I could... That could literally just be cut out and put an intercooler right there. And it, I mean, it'd be so simple and easy to just do that instead of, you know, instead of making a, you know, metal mount or anything. God damn it, there's more rust. <laughs> Down here also, like, this is all just flaking off. I don't know if you guys can see, but, like, this is seriously annoying. Like, this is essentially just... <laughs> buying a car that didn't have an engine in it, I feel like, at this point. Because it's super, yeah. Anyways, um, we're going to get back to it. Um, I'm going to be keeping my eye out for where I want to put underglow on this. Because that'll be a thing. I'm just going to build that into the wiring harness. Because um, like, if I didn't want underglow or if I needed wires for other things, I could at some point, you know. But... But yeah, um, back to it. This video is going to be really long. All right, so we're under the car. And uh, this is all nice, smooth, rust-free. Still have a lot of the galvanizing on there. I think that's what that's called, like that layer on top of the metal. Um, anyways, um, so... We're grinding this out and holy cow this is so much effort oh man this is a lot of work i wish i was sandblasting <laughs> but i mean you know the effort's got to go somewhere so um you know that's where it's going now the firewall is pretty well ready for paint not the smoothest thing in the world but i don't I don't super care. Um, whew. You can see that's all. I still need to do this area right here, but I'm just kind of changing up positions to keep my keep my back happy. But yeah, we'll uh, maybe I'll switch up positions and start working on this instead of using different muscles. You know. Ooh. All right, so. We're going to go ahead and uh, start working on this area right here since it's still painted. You can see kind of the, like when I'm doing like a certain area, I like to, like I'll take like this line and just grind it and then move from there to another line. Um, helps keep me, <laughs> uh, keep me happy. Um, so like I can do one section and then if I get too tired of that, I can stand up like I was standing up doing this section um, just avoids the back breaking part of it or at least mixes it up for a little bit plus laying on this floor and it being 28 degrees out or something is not uh, not the best thing so my back is freezing ass cold right now I might go stand by that heater that's still on it's actually warm in here it's just the floor is still really cold but uh, yeah we're gonna keep going at this um, this video is going to be really long just because I have so much to comment on, even though I'm just doing the same, <laughs> the 
same job. Um, as I was kind of going through here, I was noticing like things like right here that I could like tack weld throughout, you know what I mean? And then it would help the car be a little bit more solid, I think, but I don't know. I don't think it's really worth going to that much effort. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, I do have the crossbar for that car. I may see if I can use it on this car because it just bolts to the to here and then to the front of these. Um, so yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But uh, but yeah, keeping going. All right, so we're under the car and uh, this is all nice, smooth, rust free. Still have a lot of the galvanizing on there. I think that's what that's called, like that layer on top of the metal. Um, anyways, um, so we're grinding this out and holy cow, this is so much effort. Oh man, this is a lot of work. I wish I was sandblasting. <laughs> But, I mean, you know, the effort's got to go somewhere. So, um, you know, that's where it's going. Oh. Now the firewall is pretty well ready for paint. Not the smoothest thing in the world, but I don't, I don't super care. Um, whew. You can see that's all. I still need to do this area right here but just kind of changing up positions to keep my keep my back happy but yeah we'll uh maybe i'll switch up positions and start working on this instead of using different muscles you know Ooh. all right so we're gonna go ahead and uh start working on this area right here since it's still painted you can see kind of a like when I'm doing like a certain area, I like to, like I'll take like this line and just grind it and then move from there to another line. Um, helps keep me, <laughs> uh, keep me happy. Um, so like I can do one section and then if I get too tired of that, I can stand up like I was standing up doing this section. Um, just avoids the back breaking part of it or at least mixes it up for a little bit. Plus laying on this floor and it being 28 degrees out or something is not uh not the best thing so my back is freezing ass cold right now i might go stand by that heater that's still on it's actually warm in here it's just the floor is still really cold but uh yeah we're gonna keep going at this um this video is gonna be really long just because i have so much to comment on even though i'm just doing the same <laughs> same job um as I was kind of going through here, I was noticing like things like right here that I could like tack weld throughout, you know what I mean? And then it would help the car be a little bit more solid, I think, but I don't know. I don't think it's really worth going to that much effort. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, I do have the crossbar for that car. I may see if I can use it on this car because it just bolts to the to here and then to the front of these um so yeah we'll see we'll see how it goes but uh but yeah keeping going all right guys so um that video got to about 21 minutes long when I was putting it all together so I'm just gonna call that the end of that video um just because I don't know if I make one one hour video who's gonna watch it um, so I'll make three videos that no one will watch which is an even better idea um, but oh man dude I got like dirt in my face and everything Ugh. Um, it's a dirty dirty job um, I got most of the trans to, uh, both sides um, fender wells are pretty much ready for um, me to paint um, the, um, I was just thinking I'm going to grab this, uh, chassis saver and talk about it here for a second, but the, <clears throat> the fender wells are both ready to paint. The trans tunnel's about half done. Um, I don't, 
couldn't figure out like how far down into the trans tunnel to go before it's like drive shaft tunnel or whatever. Um, so yeah. And then before I start getting too crazy with painting, I do need to weld on the Maxima Motorsports subframe connectors and I don't have a welder and I'm not sure my shop has the power to support a welder. So, um, I will, I don't know, figure that part out. But, um, for now, the, um, the, I mean, we're just probably paint the, the fender, the inner fenders. Um, that way we can put the subframe in and start putting suspension on the car so I have less parts kicking around. Um, and it'll also be nice to start piecing stuff together instead of just having a bunch of parts just kicking around, you know what I mean? And um, it'd be nice to see some actual progress instead of just having my pile of parts get bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, what I ended up getting for the, uh, for the um, undercoating, if you will, is this uh, chassis saver. Now, first off, I'm not sponsored by them. Um, I could be chassis saver, hit me up, or yeah, magnet paints, hit me up. Let me know what you want to do. Send me some free shit. Um, but yeah, we've got uh, paint directly over rust, must top coat for exposure to direct ultraviolet, so it's not good for being in the sun because it'll fade. Um, I was reading on their website that that's mostly for the black stuff, but um, this silver is, it's a silver paint, but it has um, chunks of aluminum in it, um, so I guess like aluminum fleck, so it probably honestly looks pretty cool, but also um, the aluminum makes it extremely um, resistant to rust um, getting through it somehow or another, so... Yeah, and it has over 1,001 rusty uses. I don't know why this can't... Oh, because it's on selfie camera. So, um, yeah. Anyways, um, I'm just going to throw this on. I did get as much rust as possible off the car because um, it's kind of a best practice. Um, as you can see in some of the previous clips of this video, um, there is a lot of just paint over rust that's fine it's yeah you can you can paint directly over rust there's no no problem at all with that except for anyways rust is not a solid so shit's still gonna flake off so you gotta anyways it's all gonna be flat now it's all gonna be good um so yeah uh, that's the end of this video um yeah, tune in for the next one if you want to see me grinding more, I guess. Or skip ahead a few videos to avoid that. I don't know. But, yeah. Um, also ordered a surprise thing um, this evening. Uh, probably, I'm just not going to say anything because it won't make any difference because nobody watched my videos. But, um, yeah, you'll see that in a few videos when I unbox it. Yeah.